You can't really talk about climate change without talking about the Kyoto Protocol and Japan. And the man really at the middle of all of that who was at Copenhagen is Dr. Kunihiko Shimada. And he is the negotiator for the Japanese government on international policy coordination. And we caught up with him at the EAC conference in Barcelona, doing good, doing well. Thank you very much, Kuni, for being with us on NCAD Knowledge. I'll start with the obvious, Copenhagen. You were there. Did you get what you wanted? Well, actually, like personally, I mean, as Kunishimara, I would say it was a failure. I was heavily disappointed, but I do have the, my personal reasons because I, would, I had been uh, heavily involved in the processes since 1997. As the representative from the Japanese government, I will say we got what we wanted to get because nothing is agreed. Means the, my country, Japan, feared the situation Japan has to or had to agree on something really bad. It's a very in, I mean, not fair, like unfair like results uh, in Copenhagen just being pushed that the developed states has a responsibility to emit lots of uh, GH emissions historically. That's why we have to take the responsibility, period. What more can be done with the Kyoto Protocol? There are two different negotiation uh, tracks at this moment. One is the uh, ad hoc working group uh, based on the Kyoto Protocol, which is uh, talking about the developed country states' uh, commitments, especially numerical commitments beyond 2012. Another one is based on the convention, so-called UN United Nations Framework Convention Climate Change, and where the all the countries, I would say 194 countries, uh, to the UNFCCC, the convention, participate in the negotiation, which we talk about the post-2012 mm -hmm. uh, issues. So um, basically, if you look at the uh, components in the both tracks, they negotiate basically the same thing. This year, the course of the year 2010, based on the, what the heads of states agreed, so-called the Copenhagen Agreement, mm -hmm. and the, what the negotiators uh, came into term, so-called the KP side of the AWG Agreement, the negotiated text, Another one is the long-term cooperative action. It's a convention side of the negotiated text. So based on these uh, concrete examples, or concrete like uh, the documents on the table, rather than just uh, go um, you know, with the, uh, the in apparel tracks, I would say that the first thing we have to do is uh, come back to uh, well, the, uh, the key elements and also then try to merge into one track. What impact has the economic crisis had on your negotiations? The, Climate change issue uh, received the highest level attention uh, from the heads of states uh, even before the uh, Lehman shocks and also global economy downturn. But because of the financial crisis uh, since the last year, the, these leaders start to lose their interest or maybe like, you know, the priority on the environment issues and climate change has been lowered because the immediate thing, immediate most important thing is economic recovery or they try to create the jobs. So uh, employment creation was one of the top agendas uh, for the, the global leaders who also uh, tried to show their support for the climate change issues because climate change is not only the environment issue but also the economic question and the energy security and food security. It ranges in many different issues at the same time in the society. But the, unfortunately, this financial crisis uh, hit the, every country, all the countries in, in the more than expected. Yeah. So the, even though on the surface or in the public speech, the politicians and leaders can say, well, we will keep, like, you know, the, keep our level of the commitments to climate change issue. But the reality is probably not. Internally, at the, for example, the session parliament, uh, these leaders and even like my, my, for example, senior officials like myself, uh, have faced enormous oppositions or backlash uh, to finance on some of the issues I've been uh, uh, dealing with. So in that sense, I would say there was a huge negative impact uh, of the economic downturn. Thank you very much, Dr. Kunihiki Shimado, for being with us. Thank you very much.